I'm Dr. Roger and in this problem I'll be using Laplace transform to solve a differential equation. Here my equation is a second order linear homogeneous initial value problem with constant coefficients and I can tell by inspection that it will have repeated roots. But I'm using Laplace transform so the repeated roots will come out through the Laplace process. The transform of y double prime is s squared uppercase y where I'm using uppercase y equals the transform of lowercase y. This notation is just easier in my polynomials. Minus s times y of 0, minus y prime of 0, and then minus 6 times the transform of y prime, which is s uppercase y minus y of 0, and then plus 9 times the transform of y equals the transform of 0, which is 0. Distributing, and I prefer to distribute as a second, separate step so I don't mess up distributing the 6 to this constant or the negative. s squared y minus 3s minus 2 minus 6sy plus 18 plus 9y equals 0. Moving everything without a y to the right hand side, I'm left with s squared y minus 6sy plus 9y equals 3s, and that was plus 18, so it's, mi I'm sorry, plus 16, so it's minus 16 when I move it to the right. Factoring out the common factor of y, s squared minus 6s plus 9 times the uppercase y equals 3s minus 16. And I notice that this polynomial here is my characteristic polynomial. When I solve for uppercase y, which is the transform of the solution, and that is 3s minus 16 over s minus 3 quantity squared. And I'm going to write this for partial fractions. In some cases, you can solve this by inspection. I won't do that. 3s minus 16 over s minus 3 squared equals a over s minus 3 plus b over s minus 3 squared. It's important to have the algebraic scale for this. Even though the denominator here is quadratic, it's the square of linear factors, so your numerator for partial fractions is only the constant b. Multiplying both sides by s minus 3 squared. I get on the left just 3s minus 16 equals on the right a times s minus 3 plus b. If I substitute in s equals 3, that gives me 3 times 3 is 9 minus 16 is negative 7 equals 0a plus b. And if I substitute in s equals 0, which is a convenient number. I don't have anything that will make this term 0, but at least 0 is easy to work with. I get 0 minus 16 is negative 16 equals negative 3a plus b, where b is negative 7. Add 7 to both sides. Negative 16 plus 7 is negative 9 equals negative 3a. Divide by negative 3 a equals positive 3. So the transform of my solution equals 3 times 1 over s minus 3 and then minus 7 times 1 over s minus 3 squared. Looking at my table of Laplace transforms, 3 times 1 over s minus 3 is line 2 of my table. And 1 over s minus 3 squared is line 11. And I often write down my line numbers so I don't lose track of what I'm doing or so I can check and see what I have done. So lowercase y, the actual solution, is 3e to the 3t, and then minus 7, according to line 11, 
n factorial over s minus a to the n plus 1, in this case, 1 factorial over s minus 3 to the 1 plus 1 is t to the n e to the a t. So that's t to the first e to the 3 t. And that would be our solution, complete with the coefficients. Come back soon for my next video with differential equations, there's always more.